So yeah. now all of a sudden this memo basically goes out that says Trump is now the oldest nominee yeah. in history. And it's so incredibly ridiculous yeah. because they actually seem to believe that cutesy ridiculousness like that might work. I don't think it's going to work. Months of constant mockery of Biden's age from Fox News and the right suddenly doesn't come into play here. Now, Dana Perino, Fox News and the right are upset about how the media and Democrats are talking about Trump's age. They're specifically angry about headlines like this. Donald Trump is now the oldest party nominee for president in US history. Trump's age, fitness arguments face scrutiny as Biden exits election race. And even Trump is scrambling now trying to pretend that he's young. Here's one of his latest posts on Truth Social. Lion Kamala Harris, the Biden appointed border czar who never visited the border and whose incompetence gave us the worst and most dangerous border anywhere in the world has absolutely terrible poll, P-O-L-E, numbers against a fine and brilliant young man named Donald J. Trump. Be careful what you wish for, Democrats. But you all know they've been too happy in slamming Biden for being old and frail. Take a look. If you feel that it is that important and vital, why would you put up a feeble, deteriorating man? Spend time in a memory care unit or a rest home, as I have with my ailing parents and relatives. And then you, you know, walk around, you ask residents detailed questions about their lives. God bless them all. And you'll know what it's like to be Robert Hur last fall speaking with Joe Biden. It's nine o'clock on the East Coast, six o'clock on the West Coast. Joe Biden, I'm sure once again, fast asleep. We are past his Betty time. Joe had his warm milky from his favorite sippy cup. He had cookies around, no, oh, seven o'clock, said night night to everybody. Now he's probably resting comfortably. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. Brett, I want to bring you in here. What do you make of this? Do you think that Republicans will be successful in deflecting these attacks that are now directed toward Trump and his age? I didn't even hear their counter argument because Trump's old. Trump's the oldest person that has ever been nominated. This week long gap. After Trump was received and accepted the nomination, but before Biden was able to, was the best food you in American history. They look so stupid. They look like children who are like, you're like, can you eat your vegetables? It's like, it doesn't have cheese on it. And then you put cheese on it. They're like, I don't want it now. It, you guys are stupid. It's like, no, we gave you exactly what you wanted. If you were arguing that he's too old and old is bad, then we eliminated that issue and you're coming up with a completely new issue. Like, and, and how hilarious is it that they're like, oh, these cutesy wootsy things aren't gonna work. When then you've seen uh, Hannity just go like, Biden had his milky wilky. It's like, you don't get to say that anymore. And further, they're calling their old, their own audience stupid. They think they can switch from old is bad to he's not old and old is good that fast and no one's going to notice. Like so much of America, if you ask them in the polls, wants to move on from a Biden Trump rematch and wants to move on from the headache that Trump has made American politics lately. I mean, we need someone to change it for the better. But Trump doesn't do that, he changes it for the worse. And having a young person with new ideas in there to get people behind her is a great thing for Republicans too. Because the Biden, as if, you're, if your single complaint is immigration, Biden and Harris were about to fix it until Trump threw a temper tantrum, probably because he just needed a nap. Yeah, absolutely. It's rich seeing them act like this is out of bounds or shouldn't be levied by the the liberals, the Democrats, the Biden or I'm sorry, the Harris campaign. It's just they're they're experiencing a very funny sort of karma after they just were trying to run up the score on on Biden. They thought 
this was going to be the main narrative of the Trump campaign. They are now in a downward spiral, as you've seen, trying to shift the debate. They're worried about that. They don't think it's fair. They want refunded. We've talked about all of that. But it is funny now, they build this entire apparatus around Biden old. That's it. And now all of a sudden, you've got someone significantly younger who can finish a sentence and they're panicking. So it's very enjoyable to see. We'll see if that affects voters. I think it might. People very clearly were demonstrating we don't want to pick between these two people. Now you've got somebody else. Will that be enough? Remains to be seen, but I hope so. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.